Researchers have just released a new study on the extinction of Gigantopithecus. They have some surprising results. Smithsonian, standing nearly 10 feet tall and weighing up to 660 pounds, they were the largest great apes ever to have lived. They were closely related to their much smaller cousins, the orangutans. Thought.com, experts date this ape from about 6 million to 1 million years and some populations may have survived to 200,000 or 300,000 years ago. Some scientists have argued that Gigantopithecus survived in isolated areas to a much later date. There is some tentative evidence for late survival in Vietnam. First fossils of the species found in Hong Kong. Gustav van Koningswald was a Dutch anthropologist. His friends called him Van K for short. He was in China researching the famed Joe Caldeon site for Homo erectus. In 1935, von Koningswald walked into a Chinese herbal medicine shop in Hong Kong. Chinese herbalists ground up monkey teeth and dinosaur bones for use as aphrodisiacs. He spotted two giant teeth in a drawer. He knew instantly they were from an ancient primate. The Dutchman might have saved the two precious specimens from the Chinese herbalist in a nick of time. The teeth were compared to other similar teeth that his Chinese colleagues had found in herbalist shops. In 1937, Von K and Chinese scientists officially declared the species Gigantopithecus blackii. Since the 1930s, over 2,000 teeth and four mandibles have been found throughout southern China. Zhou Kaodian. In 1921, quarry workers at Dragon Bone Hill in Zhou Kaodian, northern China, discovered Homo erectus teeth. Western archaeologists nearby in Beijing were alerted. They began excavations and soon found more teeth and skull fragments. The bones seemed to match. Eugene Dubois' Pithecanthropus erectus. Dubois had discovered a skull cap, femur, and some bone fragments on the island of Java in Indonesia in the 1890s. Van K, his colleague Franz Weidenreich, together with Chinese paleoanthropologists, renamed the species Homo erectus. Homo erectus and giganto. Gigantopithecus and Homo erectus lived side by side in southern China for hundreds of thousands of years. Now a new study has come out that looks at the relationship of the two species and whether or not Homo erectus may have ultimately caused the demise of Gigantopithecus study the largest ever primate and one of the largest of the Southeast Asian megafauna Gigantopithecus blackii persisted in China from about two million years ago until the late Middle Pleistocene. Continuing, just before their extinction 215,000 years ago there was enhanced environmental variability from increased seasonality which caused changes in plant communities and an increase in open forest environments. The scientists were able to recover stable carbon isotopes from the teeth. They show Gigantopithecus had to radically alter their diets.
The species was especially adapted to lush tropical forests. About 600,000 years ago, the climate shifted. The environment became less forested with more grasslands. The C4 stable isotopes showed they had to rely more on grasses, corn, rice in a hotter, drier climate. They were even forced to eat less nutritious tree bark and bamboo. Reprieve for genus Homo. The researchers have no evidence that Homo sapiens lived alongside of Gigantopithecus, though dates for the two species suggest it was possible. The researchers then dropped some stunning news. Study. There is no evidence to suggest that archaic hominids played a role in this earlier megafaunal extinction event in southern China. There are some tentative indications that Giganto evolved smaller body sizes to adapt, while some other Gigantos may have migrated to more southerly climates. Giganto subspecies still survives? Smithsonian. Other scientists caution that the new study might not provide Giganto's full story. Continuing, quote, their actual geographical range through time would have been much greater than current fossils indicate. How much this will have affected the global extinction of the species is impossible to tell, end quote. Julian Lowe's Griffith University, Australia. Some anthropologists believe Gigantopithecus could have survived to much later dates in Vietnam, Malaysia, and even Indonesia. There is even tentative evidence of a Giganto subspecies that lived in northern India near the outer Himalayas. There is another possibility. Gigantopithecus moved into orangutan territory and hybridized with their closest relatives. Most recently, an entirely new orangutan subspecies was discovered in Sumatra. Only 800 Tapanuli exist in the wild. WorldWideLife.org This discovery not only demonstrates how much we still don't know about the biodiversity on our planet, but also sheds further light on the precarious position of species like the Tapanuli orangutan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and please pass this video on to others. See you next time.